Hi guys, this is Willie Reed back again for another book review video. And today I must review this book. And this book is I Must Betray You by Ruta Sepetis. Yeah. Oh my god. This book is about unveiling the truth. And there is enough foreshadowing in the cover than anywhere else. Like right here. Right in this, right there. It tells you everything you need to know. But it's, it's, it's like a vague, like vague terms. However, there is so much to say about this cover. This has so much meaning. Um, so I could feel like the setting felt all gray and, and this right here, this is, this stands out because that's what everyone was doing. And it is so interesting to see how this flag right here represents the revolution that we're going to talk about in this book. Isolation, separation, and is an indication of communism. And the author pulled those distressing, crazy moments in the novel to help you picture what Romanians were going through. Yes. And this is going through history we haven't seen. And... Rita Sepetis is so good at finding stories that haven't been told that really need to be told. Yeah. Um, this book has some compelling, cl climatic, um, cinematic, saddening scenes that encapsulate the fear, hopelessness, and the power of freedom through voice. It is amazing. I fell in love with the book, The Fountains of Silence. I Love it because it has Spain in the setting and there's a photographer and I, I am a photographer. I'm learning how to become better, but um, there, there are characters that are around our age and are experiencing uh, things through this medium of fiction. And it's real, real stories, but translated into fiction. Anyway, um, so... Wow, gotta say the themes and ideas centered are about freedom, liberty, spirit of revolution, dream, hope, writing, speaking, and shouting for freedom. And there's revolutions, um, there's this sense of lacking loyalty, trust, yet at the same time, there are people who make trust and loyalty possible and it's so interesting to see the dynamic between everyone christian is a philosophical thinker and writer and poetry is so profound yet means a lot in a novel and his character traits are so interesting and it's so fun to see other characters like liana she is so empathetic and compassionate and so full of emotions like she doesn't hold back she however she at first she is shy but when she meets christian they they show their revolutionary side and it's really cool to see their relationship and their banter and all that and i like to see all the other characters and i also just want to say that all the other characters have so many interesting character traits and are really interesting to read about. And that's the whole point. I can't tell you too much because I would tell you the whole plot just by telling you about these characters. Because it's a centralized story with just a few characters. But with a few characters you can make things amazing. I got to tell you, you it, it it works really well. Wow, this is so eye-opening. Um, this book here helps describe the complicated Romanian history, shows how a revolution ignites and how the emotions affect everyday people trying to live life, uh, how people live in oppression, fear, and mistreatment. 
and especially so since the point of view that tells us everything we should know, and much, much more. Also, the settings are vividly explained, and I feel his pain. I uh, and there are things that are really horrible to read about, like cruelty, punishment, torture, murder, and human rights abuse in this novel. Also, the minor thing we should not forget about is so much lying. And people are accused of liars and and people are, are informing on other people when they should protect privacy, but privacy doesn't seem to be a concern because everyone is being watched and that is scary. So this book happens to be about 70 year old Christian Florescu who is an aspiring writer living in Romania at the time of 1989. In his country, there are spies everywhere, even in his apartment. And his thoughts and ideas are death sentences in, its, in itself, if he ever were to speak them. He lives in a communist country where you have nothing except for fear and poverty, while its leaders have everything at their disposal. Like, really, if you read, you'll understand why. Um, Christian is blackmailed by the security, the dictator's secret police force knows everything you do and we readers see some like our like dream like this irony where we like we see what's going on and they're like oh no what's gonna happen what are you gonna think christian we know this but you don't and there is no escape for anyone and trust and freedom is hard to come by it really is as i've mentioned before this book has been very thoroughly researched and I find this book educational, engaging, entertaining, and I know this will be weird to say, like documentaries about the facts, but turned into fiction so we can understand the emotions and see through the point of view of our main character, or characters perhaps, like in The Fountains of Silence, there was like, like a few protagonists and that was engaging and yep all right fun fact ruda sepet is, is an internationally acclaimed author of historical fiction i am so happy people have gotten to read her work because it's 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 cool it's really amazing and i really like it um her writing is accessible for anyone really so and that shows in her writing style the 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 thickness of the text like it's dense but you get through it very quickly because you're engaged right and the subject of the story because it's all in the story and yeah Ruda actually worked in the music industry helping artists and songwriters find their story and make a song with that story and that is really interesting because she went from the music industry to writing her own novels. That's that's a cool backstory. Really cool. After many years, she decided to create her own story and became a, a beautiful success because her stories are ones that are being discovered for the first time by readers who keep it in their hearts and remember the pain the cost of having no freedom, especially in this novel, and and she holds nothing back. She shows the full picture, and that matters in an age like this, because knowledge is so much, and it helps us so much. So to quote Ruda, together we can give history a voice. And I just want to say, will you read this book or any other book? Well, I am Will You Read, and I'm going to give you my next book that I am reading. Yes, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Sunglasses, yep. 
Bad Girls Never Say Die by Jennifer Matthew. Yep, and this is about the outsiders, but from a female's perspective. In 1964, Houston, Texas. Yep. And I actually got was able to get it signed, so that's really fun. Hey, so fun and so cool. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this content. I am so happy to have 28 subscribers and around uh, 700 views, and it means a lot to me. And to see the growth from n less than a year, it means a lot to me. And having making content and getting better at it is it means a lot to me so and yeah so yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful day bye